just like that, I'm back. Two videos, two days. I'm on a roll. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tech's Garage. Today, we're going to be working on the TW200, and we're going to be changing the carb. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, I love your support. So if you know, I just did a build series, about six videos about building my TW200. One thing that I have noticed is an issue is if you leave the gas on, which I do on all my motorbikes, uh, the carb leaks. So the float gets stuck or whatever someone says. Sorry about that. Um, and I don't really care to turn my gas off because I forget. Yes, it's wrong. You should always turn your gas off. This is my bike, not yours. So I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, a carb rebuild kit was about 20, 25 bucks. A new carb was 40 bucks. I figured I can take this one apart, maybe rebuild it later or just replace it and throw that away. I don't know what I'm going to do other than just replace it right now, but let's jump into that. But first, let's actually check that this box is the carb. Otherwise, you know, there's no video. And that looks like a carb to me. So let's jump into removing all of that. Boom shakalaka, it is the carb. So let's get to work. Yeah, I think I have to remove the seat and then this pops right off. One thing I love using are these magnet trays, keeps all the bolts uh, all secure and in one area. Also, it's hard to knock over. Now, let's loosen this up. All right, so everything is uh, loosened up. On the other side, I gotta remove the cables. It should be pretty simple. Just gonna, you know, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, sorry. Here are the two cables. I'm gonna loosen this so I can slide off uh, this cable here and this one here. Oh, maybe I can just take off this nut and make it easier. I guess we'll find out. So guys, while we do this, in the comments below, let me know why or how you found my channel. Was it from the Jeep build, the TW build, the garage stuff? It'd be interesting just to see who all is out there and how you found me. And voila, she is out. Let's double check these are the same or similar. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yep, mm -hmm. yeah, over there, yep, looks all good. I'm just gonna loosen these cables back here because that looks like it needs to be done before. I knew it. I guess you looking at my back doesn't really do you guys much good. I'm just gonna tuck this here. So I know that one's the back one or the front one, however you look at it. All right, new carb time. Almost in. Oh, close, close. So I assume a lot of you are like me and have uh, or watch a lot of YouTube. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. But what? If you guys have a channel, let me know. It'd be great to watch some of you guys. And if you don't have a channel, let me know who are your go-to channels you watch. It's always uh, good to see new channels out there. Um, you know, YouTube is so crazy in the amount of content that's out there that you'll never see every single video. But if you're watching my channel, clearly we have similar interests and uh, maybe you know a channel that I haven't even discovered yet. And it would be cool just to see some new channels. That little sucker was giving me a little bit of a challenge there. Done, okay. Let's get this on. Okay, these are, this mount's different. Uh, so, there's gonna be a lot of adjusting, I guess. All right, guys, I like this uh, mount better for the cable, so I'm actually gonna remove it and put uh, this on. So I'll check back in with you in a sec. So, that's all fixed up. I replaced the mount, that was pretty easy. Let's get going. The throttle cable is in. Uh, cool, let's uh, go and connect all the pipes. Two new pipes here for the overflow, which I'm going to use. And they were just down here. There's a little ring in here where you can just arrest the pipes. So nothing too difficult over there. 
Tighten down these screws and see if this baby starts. Okay, so the one thing that this carb has that that one doesn't is this nice uh, doohickey to adjust the idle here. There is one on the other side. Let me show you. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's gonna work for me. I really never adjust the idle anyway. And if it is a problem, I'll figure it out. Here it is. Uh, my hand was just getting close to the exhaust and it's hot. So I just need to trim this down a bit and we should be good to give it another run. A few moments later. Running it, it all runs fine, it runs perfect. Uh, I've already talked to you about this, but uh, this uh, ah, idle adjustment screw is terrible. I'm gonna regret it because that one has a good one. So I'm gonna remove that one, install it here, put the bike back together, and then we should be good to go. So let's get that done. I'm gonna put you guys right here, see if it's a flattering position or not. Abstract filming. Okay, that is off. I'm gonna double check that this thread is the same as the other one, otherwise, you know, that's gonna be another problem. All right, so it's the same thread, that is good. You put the spring on here, there's a little uh, washer there. I'm gonna screw it on the other side, and then we should be good. So, what's everyone been watching lately? I've been watching uh, Sneaky Pete uh, on Amazon, just finished that, and I must tell you, 10 out of 10 recommend Sneaky Pete if you haven't seen it. Uh, looking for a new show now. Let me know what you guys are watching because uh, it's always good to have a cool show to watch. I don't know about you guys, but when we find a, when my wife and I find a show, we tend to binge watch it. Um, and we don't watch anything else during that time. Um, but we also do watch series that are actually live. Uh, but since, you know, COVID and filming delayed all seasons, we haven't uh, had any live seasons for a while. So we've just been searching the internet for different shows. And if you guys haven't seen Sneaky Pete, I would highly recommend it. It is a good one. That is back. Let's tighten up these hose clamps. Let's uh, start her up, see if the adjustable uh, screw thingy works and if it's much easier than another one which it should be and then let's put the bike back together <laughs> did my dumbass leave the bike on yep definitely left it on I, su I suppose I suppose I gotta leave it on uh, to charge the battery a bit. I do have a tender, I'll probably hook it up. But let's see if the screw works. Yeah, definitely worth it. Alrighty, now that the bike is done, I'm gonna put it all back together. As always guys, the links are in the description below for this new carb. If I find that little doohickey tuna thingy, uh, I will put it down there as well. If not, good luck with your search on that. I highly recommend it. But anyways guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and I will see you next time. Be sure you hit that thumbs up and leave me a sub if you haven't and I'll see you then.